Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. In this video, we will make our character go slower when shift is pressed and uh, faster by default. Let's open the first person project and go to content drawer. Now let's open the first person character blueprint. Here, first let's organize these variables that we have. I will click this variable and uh, I will assign the assign a category to it we will call it wall run now we will drop the remaining variables in this category because till now we completed the wall run ability now let's select the character movement component and here we want to find max walk speed right now this is 600 by default I want my character to walk faster therefore I will make it 900 be careful of the units it is 900 centimeter per second if we compile it will show that yeah now we want to make a new variable and we will call it old max walk speed this will be a float. It will help us keep track of the old max walk speed when we change that variable. Now I want my character to walk slower when left shift is pressed. So let's add the logic for that. Let's uh, right click here and look for left shift. And we have this keyboard event that we can use. Now I want this character movement component here. And we can get the max walk speed. Then we can set our old max walk speed. To the one that we have right now. And after that. We can set the character movement's max walk speed. To the one that we want on shift. I want it to be 600 because I want it to be slower on shift. Let's connect the pressed to set. Now we also want to set the max walk speed of character movement component. We want to set it to old max box speed when the shift key is released. That is how simple it is to make our character go slower when shift key is pressed. Or you can change the numbers and uh, make it go faster as well. Now let's select all this and press C to comment. Works slow on left shift. Also, I will select this variable and give it a category as well. I will call it uh, shift walk. It just helps to organize our variables. Also, one more thing that would be good to know is uh, in the full run video, in full run ability, this was probably before the branch. I moved it after the branch. This node set the wall variable. I moved this after the branch just because this seems better. So, if you have any problems with the vulnerability, you might want to try moving this node after this branch from here to here. Now let's check if it works. If I press shift, yes, it is working. 
slower and if I release it, it works faster by default. So that is how simple it is and I will see you in the next video.